what to take in first. What I would recommend would be EMF, flashlight, and UV. That way, if it touches a door, you can always run over to it, check it for EMF, uh, check it for UV, and then uh, continue on. When walking around the house, make sure you're always looking and listening for throws, listening for lights being turned on, and also, whenever you enter a room, look for your breath. That will be an easy, clear indication that the ghost is in that room, especially on this one, because you got light rain, so you know you don't have snow. Natural hiding spots. Boys room closet between the doors. Nursery behind the changing table. Living room behind the bookcase. Basement behind the two shelves in the back. Dining room behind the dresser. Kitchen, the kitchen island and loop it. In the garage behind the locker behind the van and also loop it there and then the red toolbox make sure you're always paying attention to your sanity and activity board i recommend for a second set of gear it would be spirit box book and temperature gauge since tanglewood is so small check off ghosts outside save yourself from maybe getting hunted on third time bringing gear honestly bring what you need to bring whatever you got left most likely camera and then other stuff just to test for ghosts and you should be set. Make sure you bark off ghosts that are still in your book that you know can't be. Once you know where the ghost room is, make sure you put down crucifixes to make sure your escape route stays clear so if the ghost does hunt, it hunts far enough away or it gives you enough time to get away with your hiding spots. Pay attention to what's going on in the room where the ghost is, especially for once you get your second evidence, you can start barking off ghosts that it can't be because it's already proven that it can't. Use salt if the ghost is being hard and not touching anything to see if you've got UV or not. When you believe the ghost is about to hunt, make sure you grab two smudges. This will allow you to smudge once, run, and if you can't get to your hiding spot in time, smudge again to get there in time. And that, everybody, is my tips and tricks for Deja Vu this Phasmophobia Weekly. So hopefully it helps you out. This I don't think this is going to be a really hard weekly, except for maybe the new people who aren't really used to where the natural hiding spots are, not used to not having sprint, uh, things like that. But overall, for the but for folks who've been playing the game for a little bit, this should not be that hard of a weekly for you. I always have the tips and tricks up for each weekly up on this playlist. So make sure you check every Monday or Tuesday, depending on how fast I can get the weekly uh, the weekly tips and tricks out. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace.